Hey guys, it's Hexer18. What's up? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure DOSBox. I've had some messages from many people who had told me I can't get DOSBox running for Ubuntu or Linux Mint and uh, a whole bunch of other distros as well. Um, for Linux, I'll show you how to configure that. Well, what you do is you go to your, whoops, you can go to uh, software manager here in either Linux Mint or Ubuntu, okay? And uh, all you do is you look for DOSBox and then there it is, you install it. I already have it, there's a green check mark. So, um, once you click this, click install, because it will show like install or whatever. Wait for that to download, install. Then you look in your list, go to games, it will say DOSBox. Now when you click this, it will run and show this, okay? Now you're probably not going to know where to go from here. We're going to have this auto configured for you. So it goes straight to where your your apps or your, your games are for DOS, okay? So I'm going to close this. You have to run this in the very first time though to get a configuration and to get a uh, a DOS directory. So when you go to your home, you just click, uh, uh, do a, con a control H, and then you'll see all these hidden files, folders in here. Go to DOSBox, and then you'll see this configuration, right click it, open with a text editor. Now when you're in here, you want to um, scroll down here to the very bottom. Okay, where it says auto execute, you're going to be executing all your um, commands here. So, um, to do this, you're going to need to um, mount uh, you're going to need to use the mount command. I'm trying to remember what the mount command is for DOS. Um, mount. okay so for this example yeah you just follow the example there basically what I'm doing so um, when you look in this director here I already have a DOS prog so um, which is what is set in here so um, I'm gonna close this yes and then um, do a uh, mount in here mount C and then uh, your directory so slash home slash my username slash uh, DOS prog okay and then it should once it mounts that now you can get to the uh, DOS prog so CD I believe DOS prog I could be wrong though I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, type in mount c uh, slash home slash hexer 18 slash dust prog. Okay, now it's mounted. Now I just do a change directory to dos prog. Oh, that's right. I got to mount the c drive. So c. There we go. Okay. And then DIR. There's all my games. There we go. Okay. Now I know what commands to use. Uh, okay. We go back here. Do a C colon. And then you can, it, you'll be mounted right there. So. Just save it. And if you wanted to change anything else, you know, just scroll up here and look at them and then uncomment the ones that are commented there that you can't use so you can change stuff and one of the things you'll want to change is the um, the speed on it like the frames so uh, I believe it's like page up or you no wait it's like the F10 or something like that I forget what key it was but we'll find out when I run this and then I just close everything launch uh, the DOS box Every, everything works right 
there it is see it's, everything's already auto everything so there's all my games there and I can um, let's see uh, the speeds yeah cycles see where the cycles are the game's gonna run really slow when I run a game so I'm gonna run Tim one okay DIR and hopefully you guys remember this game this is a classic uh, cycles hopefully it's like F10 Okay, well, it is uh, control and then F12, and I believe it's, yeah, F11 to decrease. So control F11 to, to decrease cycles, control F12 to increase. So that's basically all you do, and this is one of my all-time favorite games. So if you guys haven't checked out Tim, check out The Incredible Machine, and The Incredible Machine 2 is good as well. Okay, I guess I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching my tutorial.